My name is Fatima and I'm a student at the college. My name is Yas, I'm a youth worker. I'm Lynn, I'm head of sector for creative arts. My name is Julian, I'm head of security. I'm Lucy, I'm curriculum manager for music and performing arts. My name's Josh, I'm a music technology lecturer. My name's Gas. I'm Fatima's brother. What we are looking at is a dramatic reconstruction and we want to use it to illustrate some of the issues about how we share information with different professionals, with different staff and colleagues from different agencies and it's about how we work together to try to improve outcomes for all children. We're trying to illustrate that it's important to share information, it's important to work together often in a simple way with our colleagues to make sure that every child really does matter. to wear this hijab because my new boyfriend is a devout Muslim and I just want to support him but my friends they just won't accept me. Is this like for a dam or something? <laughs> no it's not! <laughs> you are one, so you come to the mayor's reception. <laughs> good one, good one. Oh she's crying. <laughs> okay what seems to be the problem? Okay, received. I saw a possible incident today. I was about to respond. I couldn't, as uh, I got a call from the radio. I then forgot about it. It was the end of the class, and Fatima came to talk to me about some aggro she'd had with some of the other students. From what you're saying, it seemed like quite a culturally sensitive issue. I didn't really feel it was a time or a place to be dealing with it. Sorry I was late earlier, Josh. I've just been having a really hard time with some of the pupils in the class. I just needed some time to deal with it. OK, look, I'm really sorry you're having problems at the moment. I'm a little bit busy. Can I talk to you about it later, yeah? Is that OK? Yeah. I also had another class to go to, and unfortunately, I had to rush off. I came to the canteen, and I saw a young girl sitting by herself. What? You think we don't know that you snitched on us, sir? Then I saw other three students came to sit with her, and then they were trying to bully her and call her some names. Hello? Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. And then I went up to them and told them to stop. Are you okay? What's wrong? I sat with the student and I talked to her. And as far as I was concerned, that was the end of it. Okay, Dorian? Yes, sir. Thanks. Bona? Yes, sir. Fatima? She's not in, sir. Zim? Uh, yes, sir. Cool. Ade? Yes, sir. And Shakira? Yes, sir. I received an email from um, Fatima's tutor, Josh, explaining that she hadn't been attending for the last three weeks. It's very peculiar because she's been such a conscientious student in the past. I thought she was going to do very well. The whole thing is just very confusing. I've just heard about an incident involving one of my students, Fatima. I don't really know what's gone on. Clearly something's happened because I've been told that her attendance has really dropped alarmingly. There's some case of bullying by the sound of it. And I don't know what's been done about it, but I really think I'm going to have to look into it and maybe think about how we can do something different next time round. Come on, Fatima, come on. I mean, you've got college now. Whatever the issue is, I think some kind of anti-Islamic issue just because she wears a hijab and she feels insecure and people are teasing her. It doesn't matter if they don't accept you, I mean, you know, you should... Fatima's changed quite a lot, I mean, she hasn't been turning up to college. She goes out to lunch and doesn't really return back to college. I think you should tell somebody as well. And for me, it's kind of hard to deal with because I am, you know, not always there for her. My brother, Gus. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. And this hey, is my tutor. Hi, Gus. How are you? I'm doing good, thanks. 
Fatima's story took a while to resolve, and college staff worked together to devise better ways of dealing with situations of this nature. And I'm looking into staff awareness training. That's you're going to go through staff development and get that book then. What yeah. this story yes, does is it illustrates the complexity sometimes of working with children and young people and trying to provide holistic care and support to help them to flourish and to meet their full potential. What integrated working is trying to do is trying to say we need to work together, we need to share information, often simply, simple information shared with the right people in our own environment. So often we need to share information with people who might not seem to be the first tier of support for children and young people, but often who have a huge amount of knowledge that will impact on that child's well-being and their development. Ever since Dad left, I don't know what to do with myself. I mean, I hate Mum for letting him go. I needed him as my dad, but I love Mum, but I hate her. about Joe. He just wouldn't talk to me because I asked his dad to leave. But I can't have him back. It's the last thing I want in my life. Joe! Let me look at your arm! Joe! Stop behaving like this! I'm the social worker based in Joe's school. I first saw Joe a few weeks ago in the school. I felt quite concerned about him, really, because he's been unhappy for quite some time. I decided it'd be good to ask him to come into the office for a chat. Joe, I'm a little bit worried about what you told me about self-harming and cutting yourself. You showed me the, the cuts on your arms. I'm just wondering, you know, why you've been doing it's that? because of Dad. That's how you feel, that maybe he doesn't care for you? Yeah. I suggested to Joe that maybe he go and talk to a therapist. He seemed really keen on the idea, but when I set up the appointments, he didn't go to them. So I had a chat with Michelle, who's the educational psychologist. I've been quite worried about Joe, and I suppose I've wondered about the common assessment framework and kicking that off. Absolutely. Um, I was aware that Joe's grades were slipping, but I mm. hadn't been aware of the self-harming. I was in a meeting with the school Senko, and she expressed that she was very concerned over Joe's learning at the moment. Um, he's a very bright boy, and previously he's done very well at school. However, recently his performance has really been I dipping. I have a feeling that Pamela from the Family Welfare Association might actually be involved with this family. Oh, okay. So perhaps if we contact her first, that might be a good idea. I think that's a really good idea. Okay. Yeah. Tambi contacted our service recently because she was looking for some support with her parenting. Things have become very difficult with her and Joe at the moment. Issues. He's not open about it to mm. me. Mm. He just seems very frustrated. How would you feel about Joe seeing his dad independently of you? I don't want him to see his dad. No, that's not something I want. Who else do you think we might need to invite to help complete the common assessment framework? I think it really needs a kind of therapeutic input. Um, so I think Althea would be a really good person to contact. I've offered Joe numerous appointments at the clinic to come in and see me. However, he's never attended. Jay has subsequently invited me to attend his team around the child meeting, which I think will be my next point of call. Mum was very worried, wasn't she, that Joe was spending a lot of time in his bedroom on yes, his computer yes. at the moment. It might be quite good if the youth worker could get him out and about. OK, yep. Yeah. I am suggesting that uh, if uh, we can uh, get introduced to Joe and then come to the youth club, introduce him to his peers and uh, as well as we can offer him a mentoring service. This is Michelle. Well, thank you very much for all coming to the meeting today. We thought it would be a good idea if we all came together. That way, we're more likely to work out some ways forward to help Joe and to help you, Tambi, as well. What would be useful is if I hand out a copy of the form and then if you'd like to take one and pass yes. it on. This form records Joe's needs and his strengths and also how the family can help Joe move on and take steps forward. If we look at the first section, um, we're looking at the development of Joe. 
and we're just thinking about his general health. Joe, we've made a few appointments for you to come in and see us at the clinic, but you never seem to attend. Is there maybe a reason for that? I don't think there's anything wrong with me. Why should I come? I don't want my, all my friends to see me going to the clinic. Well, Joe, how would you feel if I came into school on a few days and you came to see me? Then it could just be you coming out of class for a couple well, of minutes just to have a chat? I guess so. Joe, we, we've noticed that recently your grades have been dropping at school. I know that we've talked about why that's the case, but would you like to explain to everyone else? I can't concentrate. Like, maybe if I was to see my dad, then I might be able to start concentrating again. Him yeah, meeting his dad on his own? I'm not very sure about that. I want to see that. That's a good idea. That's why we're here. Yes, but not on your own. Why not? not? So I do feel it's quite important for Joe that he knows he's going to have contact with his dad and see his dad and then perhaps concentrate on his schoolwork after that. OK. So if we perhaps turn to page six, how the family are able to support Joe. Joe, I know you have a good relationship with your grandparents. I like them a lot. Maybe they'd be able to help with um, some contact with Joe's dad. I still just want to see him. Why do my grandparents have to be there? It should be about me. It's not about them. Perhaps if the grandparents are with you, at least at first, Joe, that might be a good step in the right direction. I think we haven't really covered some of the social issues that were discussed initially. I'm aware that you've not really been going out and seeing your friends much recently. I like to stay inside and play on my computer. Gabby, are there any suggestions you've got? Yeah. To we do offer a lot of activities in terms of sports. Um, uh, that will give an opportunity to Joe, I believe, uh, to mix with his own age group. Uh, we do also offer uh, mentoring and counselling services as well. It will also be good for him to have a role model. Mm, I think that is a very good idea because his dad hasn't been much of a role model. Now, there's just one thing we need to sort of discuss before the end of the meeting, and that's about the lead professional. Tambi, is there anyone that you would feel would be useful to speak I to? I think uh, Pamela can do it because she's been on this case uh, longer than every other person here and uh, we've had very good uh, communications with mm. her. So I think she, that is her job. I guess that sounds like a good idea because I'm coming to see um, you both at home once a week so at least we'd have a good chance to, to check in how things are going. So perhaps if I just quickly summarise, we've decided that Anthea will meet Joe in school at the end of the school day and that this will start next week. Joe needs better communication with his dad, he needs to be talking to his dad and then Joe needs to be out and about with his friends more and joining in with more activities and maybe having another male role model in his life. What we are trying to do is to formalise how we share information but also to think about formalising how we work together in a joined up way. And that's really the approach that we're trying to take. And that's why integrated working is almost an outcome of Every Child Matters. It's about what do we want to achieve at the end of this programme and at the end of this process. And all we're really trying to do is to say to people, look, we have to think about this from the beginning. We have to think about how we find time in our normal practice, in our everyday work, to ensure that we put the child and the young person at the heart of our delivery.